Hi everybody, Gerdy here and the moment I go live, something flies into my eye. Anyways, to create a more meaningful life, you have to change. You have to start doing things differently. Now, I've been talking quite a bit about having to break rules, about making choices and accepting the consequences of those choices. And that all is part of having to change, of changing how you live your life, of changing the way you do things. When you find yourself in a place that no longer is meaningful to you, living a life that no longer is meaningful to you, you have to start doing things differently. Servus. When you want to change, to keep on thinking, doing and being the way you have been will only lead to more of the same. So you have to, you have to change. You have to start thinking, doing and being different. Now, I like to compare that or I like to compare how you do that to how you change things when you're playing a certain sport or you're doing a certain sport and you want to work on your technique because that's basically what we're doing. We're working on our technique, the technique of living. When you've been doing something for a long time, whether it's living or playing a certain sport, and you want to change something about the technique of the way you have been doing that, you have to again become conscious of how you are doing things. And that starts oftentimes by thinking about how you've been doing things. And that's where it links into To breaking rules. You have to start looking at the rules that you've been living by and determine whether or not those are rules that you actually want to continue living by. When you find then there are some rules that you're, that you're living by that you do not lo that you no longer want to live by, you can then decide, okay, I'm going to do things differently. But to know how to do things differently, you have to know how you do them right now. So let me draw an analogy with uh, skiing. As perhaps you know, I am a ski instructor as well. I, I spent part of my winters teaching people how to ski or how to ski better than they already are. And especially those people that know that are aware of their body they are good students because they can tell whether or not they are doing things differently and how they are doing things differently let me just sit down here for a minute there we go so for example when somebody has trouble controlling their speed coming downhill, it's oftentimes because they don't brake properly. And I can show them and I can have them experience, feel what it feels like to do it properly and what effect that has on the way they come down the hill. Now, once we've practiced that a couple of times, I let them come down the hill by themselves. And what oftentimes happens when they fall back into 
their old way of skiing, their old way of coming down the hill, is when they, they, they then come up to me and say, oh, Ger, I did it the old way again, didn't I? They know because they felt the difference between their way that is right or different from the way they've always been doing it and the way they've always been doing it. It's the same when we start changing things about our lives, when we're unconscious of how we're living, of, of, of the things that determine the way we are living, and we become conscious of those ways, we can also start consciously changing things about that. And when you're conscious of something that you start doing differently, you also are conscious of the effect that that has on things, in this case on your life. So, when you have taken a conscious inventory of the rules that influence the way, that determine the way you live your life now, pick one. Don't, don't just change everything at once. That would be like me taking a beginning skier up a mountain and telling them to come down. Or showing them how to come down the mountain like a ski racer. That's not going to work. That's a recipe for disaster, actually. So, take one thing, or maybe two smaller things, and change that. Change those. Start living that detail, that rule, that... The, excuse me. The thing that influence... Influ that is being influenced by the... Uh, by those particular rules, by that particular rule, start doing that differently and be conscious of how that affects the way you live your life. When you've changed a lot of little things, you will find that there, there's been a big change in the way you live your life. And the life you are living then will be more meaningful than the one you are living now. So, to change, to start living a more meaningful life, you have to change. You have to change the way you think, the way you do, and the way you are. And it starts by thinking about things. Once you've found, when you, when, once you've analyzed, I guess, what's happening in your life right now, you can start doing things differently. And at the beginning, you'll have to do them consciously. You consciously do things differently. The same way that that person that I just taught how to control their speed coming down the mountain, has to consciously concentrate on what it is that they are doing. But there will come a time when you don't think about it anymore, you just do. It's like walking, basically. When we learn how to walk, we're very conscious of how we're doing that. If you've ever had a broken leg and you had to relearn how to walk, you know what I'm talking about. But once you've done that, once you've mastered the art of walking, you don't think about it anymore, you just walk. Just like once you've mastered the art of controlling your speed down the mountain when you're skiing, you don't, don't think about it anymore, you just do. And that's where you, when you stop thinking about the doing, that's where you're being. That sounds really nice, actually. So that's, that's your aim. But you don't get there in one go, that's, for most humans, for most of us, that's really impossible. Think about the rules that you've been following. Think about the ones that you want to change. Pick one and change that one. Make, make one up for yourself, throw it out of the window, I, whatever it is that you need to do to start living a more meaningful life and consciously start acting accordingly. 
you will find you will fall back into old behavior every now and again but because you now know you are aware of the rule that you want to change you will also be able to notice to feel that you're doing it the old way and the moment you do that you can correct yourself and by making these changes consecu consecutively at one point at some point you will find that you've changed so much about the way you live your life that you're actually living a more meaningful life that you've come to the point where you no longer think consciously where you no longer do consciously you are being unconsciously as always go there greatly bye bye